Hello, welcome to the Media Box. I'm joined by Levan Giorgio Liani and Belinda Gotradi. Thank you so much for joining me today. You're both co rapporteurs on a fundamental right to the environment, a matter of law and regional authorities. Um, you will both know that local governments are often left out of the conversation when it comes to environment protection. Why is it important um, to talk about how environmental law affects local authorities? Yeah, thank you, first of all. Um, no, you know uh, now that Congress adopted uh, the resolution and uh, recommendations about uh, f um, environment as a fundamental right, right to environment uh, as a fundamental right. It's a very important topic because now we are facing, the, um, the world is facing uh, um, a very big problem that is called climate changes, air pollution um, and so on and so on. Uh, and the local authorities uh, are the, on the uh, first line who are fighting those uh, issues. Uh, the local authorities, because of their proximity to uh, the uh, citizens uh, uh, in their daily, day, day, their daily lives, uh, they see uh, where are the uh, real problems. So we have to give uh, competence, um, finances, authority to uh, municipalities to tackle this problem, to fight the climate changes, to fight the air pollution and all environmental issues. Also our, our main um, uh, topic was that uh, right to healthy environment is not recognized as a fundamental or human right in many constitutions. For example, in Georgia and, and, and in many other European countries, it is uh, recognized. However, also we call uh, other countries to uh, recognize uh, right to healthy environment uh, as a fundamental right. And also that was our um, uh, main topic there. Okay, I'll turn to you now, Belinda. You are proposing an additional protocol to the European Charter of Local Self-Government. Would it be more relevant than a protocol to the European Con Convention on Human Rights or to the European Social Charter? Well, as my co-rapporteur said, without taking environmental issues into account, there is no good governance. And we should make sure that local authorities have the right competencies uh, to tackle this issue. So indeed we propose this additional protocol to the Charter, which is a set of rights and principles and which can perfectly be combined with all proposals by other bodies of the Council of Europe. So one day we might have a protocol to the ECHR, but it will have a legally binding force. And the advantages of such additional protocol uh, to the Charter are that uh, there's no need to qualify environmental issues as human rights. An additional protocol would also have uh, a preventive approach and not a repressive one. And this is soft law, so Congress is not a jurisdiction, local authorities will not be prosecuted, of course, and the introduction of this additional protocol to the Charter would possibly contribute to the reduction of the number of appeals to the ECHR. So. Thank you both so much for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.